Hey programmers, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be doing the pattern that you see on your screen. Now this pattern must remind you of a previous pattern, which is this one that you see on your right hand side. Now this is actually similar to the uh, pattern on the right. The only difference is that alternatively we are printing our hash and stars. Okay, in this case we were just printing stars. Uh, in the f uh, in the video that I'll be teaching you today, we'll be having alternate hash and stars. Now I'll be using the code from this video, which we which we uh, did from our scratch. We'll just be modifying a slight bit in the code, and we'll get this pattern on the left. So I highly recommend you to check out the video for the this pattern print. I'll have the link to this video in the description below. So do check it out. So this is how the pattern actually looks on the screen. Now there is nothing different to this pattern just we are printing alternate hash and stars. So let's quickly jump into the code and see what we need uh, what are the changes that we need to make. Here I just created a new file. Now I'll just be opening this code and showing you what was the output of this code that we previously did. So this was our output that we actually got, uh, got in the previous video that we did on this pattern. So I'll just be copying this code and pasting it to our new file. Now there are few changes that we need to do in this code. That is first we need to alternatively print stars and hash, right? So I'll be having a count variable. We'll be using this count variable which will start from 1. Now if this count variable is odd then we'll be printing star on the screen and if it is an even number then we'll be printing hash on the screen. So if you look carefully over here when we are printing our first character the count will be 1 okay so we'll be printing a star over here now in this case our count will be 2 which is an even number so we'll be printing a hash on the screen now again when we come here come here we'll be uh, having count as 3 right because we are printing our third character so in this case it is an odd number so we'll be printing a star so this way We'll be printing stars and hashes on the screen. So there is only a few minor modifications that we need to make. Now the first thing that we need to note is that now if this count is an odd number, that is, it, it modulus two is equal to one, then it is a star. The star we have to print, or else, what we have to print is that we need to print a hash. Okay, so this is star if it is an odd and a hash if it is an even now after every time we print our character we need to increase our count by one so that we get our uh, proper output so let's compile and see if we have any errors so no errors so let's run our code say suppose we want to print 10 rows so as you can see we are getting the pattern that we wanted that is we wanted alternate stars and hashes that is how we got it so this tutorial was more about how to convert the pattern that we already know into a pattern which is slightly modified version of uh, the patterns that we have learned i hope this video was helpful to you so that's it for this tutorial please do like our videos subscribe to our channel and please go through our blog where we are posting a lot of technical stuff over there. Thank you.